Hurricane season officially begins Saturday and some of the most important meteorologists are the ones you rarely see. Yeah, that's right. They fly right into the storm to help improve storm forecasting when it matters the most. Next weather meteorologist Casey Sherman traveled to Sanford to check out the hurricane hunters. It's intense work, not for the faint of heart. Sometimes it's like the worst wooden roller coaster you've ever ridden. Just insane lightning and everything was jumping around in there. We often encounter hail as much as we try to avoid it, but we often encounter hail. And every storm is a little different, presenting its own set of challenges. They're like their own creature. They treat you different. They feel different. Uh, some storms just kick your butt and other storms kind of just let you through. But while they may be kicked around a little, hurricane hunters serve a role that is invaluable when it comes to hurricane forecasts. Flying five to 10,000 feet above the ground, they fly around, above, and into a hurricane in a variety of flight patterns that allow them to gather data all around the center of the storm. I got to go on board Kermit, a NOAA hurricane hunter aircraft, and the C-130 Hercules, an Air Force Reserve aircraft, both equipped with high-tech weather instruments, including multiple radars used to measure a storm. This is an important tool that the hurricane hunters use called a drop sun. It picks up different atmospheric variables, pressure, temperature, winds in parts of the hurricane that they can't fly through with the plane. Each mission lasts around eight hours, during which the hurricane hunters make several passes through the storm, often going in and out of the eye wall, the most intense part of the storm. The closer the storm is to making landfall, the longer they'll spend inside of it collecting data. The scariest storm I've been through was Ian. Normally a, a hurricane will hit you with vertical, vertical ones that knock you up and knock you down a little bit. This one was actually hitting us one that knocked the aircraft side to side. That's definitely an uncomfortable feeling in an airplane. But it's because of those uncomfortable flights, we are better able to get our community life-saving information when we need it most. The analogy we like to use is like grilling a steak. You can see the grill marks on the steak. You kind of have an idea how well cooked it is in the center, but you don't really know until you insert a temperature probe and then you know if it's rare or well done. The data coming just from the hurricane hunters improves forecast accuracy by 10 to 15 percent, and the technology continues to improve. NOAA now uses everything from sail drones to drones that fly to the sky to sea gliders. They even have new technology that comes out each and every year. This is an experimental one. This is actually one of them. It's an extremely light drop sun that's actually designed to stay and kind of float around in the hurricane for longer and collect more data. Of course, all this, it's all about leading to a more accurate, accurate forecast and being able to alert the public with as much time as possible if a storm threatens. I'm meteorologist Casey Sherman reporting in Sanford, Florida, CBS News, Miami. Casey, thank you.